Hi, I'm Jeremy from Pink Orange. And today we're gonna answer the age old question. Is it cheaper to buy a snowmobile used or new? We're gonna break down the different segments of snowmobiles and what you should consider before making a purchase. Essentially, the first thing we need to look at is the different category of snowmobiles, which I think is really important. There's really three categories when we're talking snowmobiles. Let's put a third in, a fourth one in there. We were at three. We're, we're gonna go to four, but the fourth is gonna be a subcategory of a third category. So it's really three, but maybe four. So let's look at the categories of snowmobiles. The first one is a utility snowmobile. That is the guy who has the wide track. He's gonna use it for trapping and working. These sleds don't really see too rough a wear and tear. The second one, which is probably the biggest segment in Eastern Canada where we are, is trail riding. So that is the leisure riding of going snowmobiling and enjoying. The subcategory of that being the touring trail machine. Subcategory, but still trail, okay? And then the third category, which is the mountain sled, which is the sled that you take that doesn't have a groomed trail. Three different segments. Let's see what makes sense in each segment. So the first segment, the utility snowmobile. So these sleds, they tend to not come up used very often for the simple reasons that the guys who are buying them are working with them. So they buy them typically new and they are gonna run them until they're done. These usually are lower power machines. So they, there is some four strokes and two stroke options, but these sleds aren't about performance. They're about the power, so the torque to kind of work and then the track to float so they could they are very good at breaking trail, meaning you can make your own trail, but that trail is actually gonna be good for other machines as well. Uh, so the guys who are using these machines tend to not be as crazy with them. So buying one used, they don't tend to see a ton of wear and tear uh, because they're just not being beat on and they weren't built as a performance machine to start off with. Uh, so if we're looking at the difference between the cost of a new one and a used one, it's more going to be all about price point, which you might be surprised in the used market, you're not going to get much of a discount because they just don't come up that often. But definitely a utility sled, it's 50-50. Buying it new or used, you're going to be able to enjoy it either way. The best machines on that work category from every brand are, are going to be like the Scandix from BRP, uh, or we're going to have uh, the Bearcats from Arctic Cat, uh, which are the Vikings as well from Yamaha. Um, and then the Titans from uh, Polaris. So those are kind of your utility machines. The other segment, which is the biggest segment, is the trail rider. That is the guy who's taking that sled, putting his suit and just putting on the miles on the weekend. And that is probably the segment where you're gonna see a huge difference in the quality of used snowmobiles, uh, depending on the owner. Snowmobiles are machines that need quite a bit of maintenance for the simple reason that about 80% of the snowmobile is a moving part. So if you're not paying attention to it and you're not keeping that machine clean and you're kind of just riding it rough all the time, it's gonna break apart quite a bit faster than someone who's maintaining it. That being said, when we're looking at a trail snowmobile, if you wanna get into the mindset of mileage and understand the wear and tear that goes on in these snowmobiles, compare it to an automobile at about 10 times. So if I have a snowmobile that has 10,000 kilometers, I should be looking at it as a car that has 100,000 kilometers, meaning it's gonna have needed a little bit of maintenance. If it wasn't maintained, it's gonna start showing. And then I could be looking at some more repairs going down the line. So definitely when we're looking at that segment, that's what we wanna pay attention for. Especially if you're talking about the high performance machines. So if we're talking like the Articat Thundercat, if we're talking about like the 850 MXZs, uh, or, or even the 850 on the uh, Indy side of things with Polaris, so the guys who are buying this are all about the performance for the most part and are gonna drive these things really rough. They're going through the roughest terrain you can imagine at 100 miles an hour. So the guy who maintained it versus the guy who didn't maintain it is gonna have a big, big difference. And the guy who's got 20,000 kilometers on his sled versus the guy who's got 2,000 kilometers on his sled is also a big difference and a big factor that you should consider. And if you're looking at buying a used sled, and you're gonna be buying, uh, planning some trips, so you're actually gonna be paying some hotel stays, and you're gonna make an investment into displacing yourself and a trailer and everything, you should really reconsider and go on the new route, because uh, our season, you know, eight to 10 weeks is what you could really bank on, and if you're buying that used sled that might need that more maintenance, you're shooting yourself in the foot. 
And the last segment of snowmobiles, which is the mountain sled. And the mountain sled is by far the most impressive snowmobile to have in the box of your truck. That does not mean you should buy one because you need to have the right terrain to ride these things. They're a mountain sled, not meant for crossing the road and going visit your neighbor, Bob. Don't do that. So if you're buying a mountain sled, make sure that you're going to make the trips or go to the places where this sled makes sense. Reason being, the snowmobile itself has such a longer track, a longer suspension, less cooling, meaning you need to be in snow to keep this thing running properly. And if you're riding this thing on the trail all the time, you're actually gonna deteriorate that track significantly. And in Canada, it's about a $2,000, $2,500 repair to change that track. So you really wanna pay attention to that if you're gonna look at a, a mountain sled, make sure that it's for the right reason. So that being said, what should we consider if I'm mean, looking at a used mountain sled? The first thing you wanna take a look at is that track. If that track is starting to be cracked and there's lugs and all kinds of things missing, you should maybe think twice because that means that, tr that machine was maybe ridden a little bit more on trail, which is a little bit rougher on everything on that snowmobile, on the rails, on everything. It's just meant to be in snow. Uh, and to that, uh, if we compare it to the trail machine, these age quicker as well, because when I'm off trail, 90% of the time, the, the machine is, is wide open. I'm just flooring this thing always, and then my track and my suspension is hitting all kinds of stuff if I'm not in enough snow. So they age significantly faster at a rate of like 20 times. So a mountain sled with 5,000K is actually starting to be up there. And if you are gonna make the investment into going to the places where you can ride these things, my opinion is the new one's always gonna be better. Uh, the used one is good to like, if you're gonna be at the fish hut and you wanna impress your buddies, but to really get into the sport, definitely go new. So the, the new models of sleds uh, are obviously like the, the uh, Summit lineup from uh, BRP, uh, or we've got the uh, M lineup from Articat, which is literally just mountain sleds. And then uh, those are the ones you kind of want to look at. Uh, Polaris has some nice crossovers as well. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, every brand of snowmobile makes a nice mountain sled and a nice in-between. So there you go. We answered the question. Maybe not really. Kind of answered my opinion of the question. New versus used on snowmobiles. So uh, let us know what you got. Let us know your experience between buying a new or a used snowmobile and put a lot of comments in there and likes and subscriptions. Subscriptions are good, so do that. And yeah, thanks for watching.